Hi everyone, this is just a quick video explaining about our St. Ralph Sharing fundraiser throughout June. Normally, at this time of year, we would have our Bishop's Walk, uh, one of our big fundraisers in the year to support our two charities of Rainbows and Bluebell Wood. As, uh, like many things this year, it has had to be cancelled. However, we want to still support our charities. It was predicted at the beginning of lockdown that charity, the charity sector in the UK would lose £4 billion over this 12-week shutdown. And we've now, now approaching that 12th week. These charities are still doing the amazing work that they've always done with children, young people and families. However, they've lost a huge part of their income in doing that. Lots of fundraising runs, skydives, all sorts have been cancelled and their shops closed. We've wanted to do something to try and help those two charities that mean so much to us and we need your help. We're inviting all members of our communities our staff, our pupils, our parents, our governors and our wider parish communities to get involved with our St. Ralph Sharing Challenges. In the description, you'll see two links to our Just Giving pages, one for Bluebell Wood and one for Rainbow, depending on which of your schools is connected to which charity. We're aiming to cover 1,270 miles uh, in June for each charity and not expecting each person to cover that, that would be insane. Uh, what we're hoping to do is collectively cover that for each charity. And that distance is the difference between Rodsley, where St. Ralph Sherwin, our patron, was born, and where we would be normally doing our walk to, and Rome, where he was one of the first uh, students of the Venerable English College in Rome, which trained priests, and from there he was sent back uh, to the UK as a priest. So how are we going to cover these 2,540? Yeah, what the 2,540 miles? Well, here's some ideas. So, you could cycle in the rain, in the wind, or in the dry. You could go for a run in the beautiful sunshine. Or you could go for a nice gentle walk in your local area. Any which way you want to, you can cover those miles. Now, the way we're going to keep track to see when we hit those miles, and maybe see how far we go beyond that, is by using the app Strava. If you um, have used Strava before, uh, please just join one of our clubs. Uh, the Bluebell Wood and the Rainbow links are below. Please join the one which is associated to your uh, school. So the north of the trust is Bluebell Wood and the south is Rainbows. If you haven't used Strava before, it's quite a straightforward app or you can use our online browser. Go you to create account and keep track of the miles you cover either by cycling, running or walking throughout the month of June. Uh, we also want to say that we don't encourage pupils on the age of 16 to create a Strava account. What we'd like to encourage you to do is band together with your form or your class and ask your class teacher or form tutor to create an account or maybe even your family and do it have a family account together and keep track of where you're going. Uh, there are two ways you can do it. You can either track your run, uh, cycle or walk on the app or you can just upload the distance afterwards. Um, if those of you who might not want to be tracked as you uh, go for your run, cycle or walk. Uh, it would be amazing to see how quickly we can smash that 1,270 mile for each of our challenges. And the only way we can do that is if we get lots of people involved. So in your daily family walk, or if you go for a cycle, maybe even you might cycle to school or to work, you can add that to our total. You might want like going for a run in the morning or the evening, or even uh, you might have your daily mile challenge part of school. Ask your uh, teacher to count up uh, those miles and add them on each day so that we can get to our total as soon as possible. We're hoping to raise £500 and we're going to invite you to um, send the links out to our Just Govern page to as many people as you can and encourage them to sponsor you. Let them know how you're getting on with your distances. It'd be incredible to see who covers the most distance um, individually and uh, how much we can really raise to help these charities who are doing incredible work in from very, very difficult circumstances. So thank you very much for joining us for our video. I really look forward to seeing how far you'll go in our challenge. Take care, bye-bye.